Hello, my name is BT Jones. I'm a park interpreter here at Petty Jean State Park. Park interpreter is a person who interprets the park. And by that, it means that if you visit the park, I help you get to know things better here, show you things you may not uh, think to look for. Petty Jean State Park is Arkansas's oldest uh, and first state park. And we're here in the exhibit room. This Vista Center exhibit room is a great place for you to come to find out about the park before you ever go out into the park. You can get maps, you can find where to go, and there are wonderful things out there to see. And we're about to head out in the park and see what we can find today. This is Cedar Falls, just to the side of me. Uh, it is considered by most people to be the centerpiece of the park. It's a, a 95 foot waterfall, uh, an icon in the state of Arkansas. When the rainfall is up, Cedar Falls fairly will roar sometimes. And you can hike down to Cedar Falls from Mather Lodge. It's a one mile down, one mile back hike. And the trail is rated as strenuous. So if you don't want to do that hard trail to go down to the waterfall, you can always come here where we are now to the Cedar Falls Overlook and get a good look at it from up above. It's a pretty impressive place. Well, we're standing now at the gravesite overlook in the park. It's also called Stouts Point because of the previous landowner that had land across the river, the Arkansas River from here. But this is one of the most scenic places at Petty G. And a lot of people like to come here and look uh, out across the Arkansas River Valley as well as Ada Valley to the south of us. This place is the site of most of the stories or legends about how Petty Jean got its name. And it is undoubtedly named by French people. They pronounced it Petit Jean. Uh, in Arkansas, it's come to be known as Petty Jean. This is Rock House Cave. It's the park's key archeological site. It's uh, formed by ancient erosion, it's a grand place and it was used by Native American Indians both as a refuge early on and later as a ritual site. And later on in time, over 200 rock art samples can still be found here, mostly pictographs, painted images. Some of the drawings are clearly human-like, others are animal-like, and others are very unusual and we don't really know what to make of them. This wayside panel at the Rock House Cave shows five of the larger, more interesting pictographs in Rock House Cave. If you look at the very top, the most common answer we get for this one is it looks like a duckbill platypus. And we have to explain duckbill platypus, platypi, platypuses live in Australia, probably never seen here by an American Indian. But there is an animal that looks a lot like that that lives in the Arkansas River even today, a spoonbill. The next image is this one. It looks like two things interlocking, and that symbol could mean a lot of things. Again, we're not really sure exactly what it means, but there's the same pattern here found on this pot that was found in Cardin Bottom, just west of the Petty Jean Mesa here. This, this pictograph that we're seeing on the wall up here, is the one we said could be a winding river or a snake curled around, or maybe even a human figure inside and along with this what could be a footprint just to the right. This is another rock art symbol we saw at the front of the cave, the paddlefish. You can see the long nose here, the body of the fish, and the tail back here. The, the trail down to the Rock House Cave brings you across a sandstone glade. A glade is an open area, uh, and it can be a grassy area, it can be a stone area. It can be limestone glades, sandstone glades. Here at Petty Jean, we have sandstone glades throughout the park, and these glade areas mean open spaces, uh, where forest gives way to open, sunnier places. With a beautiful glade, and on the glade there are features called turtle rocks, that are very popular with park visitors. They are erosional features, mounds in the sandstone that resemble turtle shells. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, Petty Jean State Park is a special place, a place where there's something for everyone, and we hope to see you soon.